Okay, wonderful. So go ahead and let's go to the next slide, Paola. This part will be super quick. Um, you all are already rock stars, so thanks for having your mics off. Um, hopefully throughout this presentation, we'll get the opportunity to ask any questions you do have. If they come up um, right now though, feel free to just enter them in, in the chat. Um, we're happy to answer them. Um, we've only got 30 minutes together, so I'll run through our agenda. It's really, really quick. Paula, go ahead. Uh, so what we have in store is um, we're going to release both of the books that we're, we'll be reading this semester. Uh, we will also be covering how to access them for free and some other super helpful resources. And lastly, we'll be discussing our small group breakout. Okay, so without further ado, our very first book that we'll be reading this semester is Black Faces, White Spaces by Carolyn Finney. Uh, we're super excited to get this started, to kind of engage in some social justice dialogues, that intersectionality between outdoor spaces and, and race and place and everything. So we have just about two months to read this, so don't feel daunted or anything. Uh, by the scope of the book. Um, we've got plenty of time to do so. And our other book that we will be reading later on in the semester is The Best Tent Camping in Northern California. And our premise here is not to necessarily read the entire book, but to just go through like a couple of chapters that really stand out to you, um, maybe places that you want to explore in Northern California and we'll engage in dialogue from there. Um, and the dates for that are a little bit shorter, but they're right around that nice fall break time. So hopefully you're getting inspired and finding ways to go outside and connect, but in a safe manner. So we intentionally kind of placed them in that way, um, kind of easing off at, towards the end of the semester. So hopefully you're excited for that as well. Are there any, um, before, before we do that, um, I wanted to just get a quick poll of the group just to kind of figure out like y'all are here because you like reading and you're interested in this in some way or another. So we're just curious to know, um, where is your favorite place to read? And I'm sorry if this isn't an all encompassing answer, um, but we're just trying to get a gauge of, you know, your ideal location to be reading inside, outside. We seem to be kind of split all over, uh, but maybe a little bit more towards an indoor location. And I am right there with you especially right now with, you know, smoky air and all that sort of stuff. It's definitely nice to be inside. Um, but don't forget, even though it's a virtual semester and we're giving you digital access to books, um, that's also a really great idea to, to be outside somewhere, uh, maybe under a tree or someplace like that. So um, for our next portion, I'm going to be handing it over to Jeff um, so that he can discuss with you all how to access these books. All right, give me one second to share my screen. Okay, so if you can make your way, you don't, you don't need to do this right now, but uh, just so you know, so if you can Find yourself at the library's website. Um, really, all you simply need to do is you can put in the title under one search here, Black Faces, White Spaces. I personally like to limit things to, I like to go to everything CSU because that does allow you to look at all books in all 23 campuses. But we'll just do a search here quick. Make sure you're signed in, which I did right before here. And then you're gonna see the pop up. And so for example, we actually have this book inside the library, um, but I'm just gonna click on it. So a couple options here. 
And um, I will do you all a favor and I will just drop this in the chat. Chat moves when you're uh, hosting here. Okay, so later you can access that. But so here's the here's the deal here. So a um, couple things that are new. Uh, here's the ebook, and we can access it there if everybody wants an ebook. I will say uh, there is a copy in the library, and as of last Monday, we are doing curbside checkout, um, and you can click request. So there's one copy there for that, but let me show you something in a second here. So you can choose to pick it up at the library. You'll get an email, it'll tell you, you make an appointment and come do curbside checkout. Or if you live more than 25 miles away, you can just put in your home address and then you need your complete home address and we will mail it to you, okay? So although in this case, we only have one physical copy of this book, you can see that there are other, uh, so Channel Islands has another copy. Um, the other ones, it's going to say this right now may be available just because none of the libraries are technically open, but if they're able to fill it, they will. Um, but anyway, so that's an option for any book, just so you all know that's fairly new as of last week that you can request it. But yeah, if you live fairly close to uh, the campus, you can just choose to pick it up curbside, okay? But in this case, we're going to do the e-version of it. And you can choose to read it online. You can download the book. Um, you can download uh, chapters of it. Um, we own an unlimited copy of this book, so you can choose to download what you want. Okay. Do any questions about this? Okay. And then um, the same thing really applies for the um, best tent camping too. Uh, let's just put that in there. See if it'll come up with that short of a title. But if it does, I'll just give you the link for that one too. Sorry, it's a little slow at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Here we go. Okay, so for example, this book, we don't actually own a physical copy of it. So we can just get it through the, um, the permalink. having trouble finding getting the link with the little bar across the top of it. There we go. Oh, did you already put it in there, Casey? I did. Oh, cool. Then I don't need to do that. Um, but anyway, so that's the two books. Um, and then alternatively, I understand some people do not like to read an ebook. Um, and for example, this book, since it's a couple years old, Honestly, with this book or any book, you know, um, you can check. In California, you know, you can get a, uh, um, a public library card basically at any library in the state, regardless of whether you live there or not. I have like five library cards. Um, and that might seem excessive. I realize that as a librarian. But what I like is that different libraries have different ebook packages and audiobook packages. So I have one for Salinas, I have one for Monterey, I have one for Marina. Uh, Got my CSU and BYU. I have another one somewhere. But anyways, um, so if you live in Southern California, if you can get one, um, basically you can get one anywhere in your area. There's kind of a law in California that says you can just get a library card um, wherever. So um, you can get these at your public library. 2017 uh, book like this. It's only a couple years old, but um, you know, check out the used section on uh, Amazon, eBay, if you do really want a physical copy or your local bookstore. But um, like this one with Casey said, it's not terrible to read online because we're only asking you to read like, for example, like pick two places you've been to, read them. Do you agree with what they wrote? And pick two places you haven't been to and you want to go. I mean, so you're not going to read that much online. Um, this more, this is just more of a guidebook to kind of pick a few areas you're interested in. And what's nice is um, if you're around the area, great. If you're not, when we return to campus, you'll be close by to everything in this book since it's Northern California. So um, you can get a leg up on there. But um, anyways, uh, me, and you can do that for any book. So curbside checkout, or you can um, uh, have it mailed to you if you live more than 25 miles away. So that's kind of a new feature. So tell all your friends. So anyways, that's my portion of it. it that's an over. awesome new feature. 
and I don't want that to go underrated. That's super awesome. Uh, please, please know that you do have access to books if you're a little bit like me and you don't necessarily want to be in front of a screen any longer. And you prefer like that smell of, of the book too, right? Um, there are some other opportunities available too. Um, for instance, if you don't already have an Audible account, and you'd rather listen to these books. We were pretty conscientious of the ones that we chose um, for our audiences, but also the multitude of ways that you can gain access to these books, whether you're listening to them, um, accessing them on an e-reader, or even um, you are getting them from a public library, or perhaps you're even buying it used. Um, I know, Jeff, you have some like tips when it comes to purchasing something used. Is that, is that right? Um, I mean, I look everywhere, but uh, I mean, and, and don't just rely on, um, like, I know we, a lot of people use Amazon and Amazon Prime and that, but like, and then I will say a lot of the used section, those are independent bookstores and people, but also just um, look on eBay too, individuals. I mean, you're helping anybody out. Um, they, you don't have to buy from big box stores. You can if you want, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I don't know, I tend to look in a few places. Currently I'm looking for this like 1985 book, uh, California book and like eBay was $39.99. I don't wanna pay $39.99. Amazon was like $23.99. I still don't wanna pay $23.99. So I'm gonna stock it a little bit longer, but I don't need it right now for a specific class, but uh, I just borrowed it from the library. I will say too, just so you know, almost all the libraries are extending their checkout periods. So um, for example, like even in the CSUMB library, um, you know, our rec reading books used to only circulate for like two weeks, we've moved it to six weeks, and I think all other books we moved to a year. So if you do get a book mailed to you, you basically have it for a year. So um, yeah, but anyways, check out your public libraries. Don't forget them. and and. Like if you're in anywhere in Monterey County in that, I mean, you're part of a system too. So there's like 13 libraries. So I currently have books from like the Big Sur Library, the Greenfield Library, the Marina Library, and I just pick them all up in Marina. Uh, and they do curbside pickup too. So we are trying to give as much information to you as possible, all the libraries are. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for all of those resources. I know sometimes it's like a gentle reminder, like no matter where you live, you've got, a, you're likely to have a public library pretty close by and that's a good way to, to gain access to, to books as well. So thanks for that friendly reminder. Um, at this point in time, does anybody have any like questions or comments about what's going on? Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead, Dustin. Can, um, so I, I would like to invite some uh, students to participate in the next couple of sessions. Is that, uh, I can just sort of share the, um, uh, the website, I guess, for, the, uh, for this yes. book club. That would be fine, yes. yeah. Um, so we have just um, updated the website. So now anybody can have access to those permalinks. We were just kind of hoping that this would be like, our reveal party, if you will, um, to kind of share out what, what exciting books we have in store for this semester. Um, but now anybody has access to those and they can read them. And we would love for you to share, share that out. Uh, one of the resources that I just linked in this chat is actually to a survey so that we can get a little bit more information on what you're looking for when it comes to this book club and the smaller group discussions, like how frequently are you interested in meeting and what kinds of goals do you have for this? And, you know, just kind of like some basic information. It's a really quick survey. Um, so that is also on the website, um, but you can also send that link to students for sure. Um, so- Did you put in the chat? It hasn't shown up yet, Casey. Um, I think I did. It is, it probably got lost because I put it in, in between the books. So there it is kind of front and center, but that's our quick survey. 
um, just to kind of get a gauge on which of the books people are watching or reading. Okay, so for our final portion, um, go ahead. Um, <laughs> that's what that survey is that we just talked about. And obviously the fun and excitement when it comes to a book club is not just reading it in solitude, but sharing the parts that really interested you, struck a chord, made you think a little bit differently uh, with those around you, with your peers, who have got a couple faculty in the room. So engaging in dialogue, discussion, um, even as it comes to just places you've hiked or camped or explored and like what they mean to you, right? Like all of those are going to be conversations that we have in our small group discussions and what you can look forward to. Um, and the one other thing that we, we want to let you all know about is that throughout this entire semester, we'll also have different ways to engage on Instagram, different little like surveys to take and, and ways to let us know what quotes are, you know, coming to mind for you or you know what's exciting you about a particular place to camp in northern california that you haven't been before right like we just want to strike up conversations with people and learn from one another so that's that's kind of our main aim there and with that i wanted to share um just a couple of ways that you can get involved so um instagram our account is CSUMB underscore recreation. And then if you want to take part in our newsletter, um, you can join just by going to the recreation website here and clicking to join right here at the front. It's a really, really simple questionnaire there. Um, so that's pretty much all we have for today. Like we said, to kick off and then we'll be communicating via email to then put these small group discussions together. Um, are there any other questions or comments that people might have? The only thing I was gonna say is tell your friends too because they might say I don't have time to read a book but the second book they literally could read five to ten pages and cover a couple chapters of that camping book. So if you know anybody that likes to camp or get outdoors just drag them in because it's not a big commitment to read parts of that book. They're just a couple pages long each chapter. Totally. And the one last thing that I'll reiterate if you all haven't already seen it, this is on the recreation website under outdoor and then the adventure anywhere series. We have completely updated the site. Um, so you'll be able to find that form that I just linked for you. So if your friends are asking and they want to know how to join in in the discussions, they're going to want to fill out this form. And then those who want access to both of the books, you can find them right here just by clicking on these links and then following the steps that Jeff gave us. So um, everything is up to date on this web page and can be shared out with any friends that you might have. Family members are encouraged to um, to make it a real party. <laughs> All right. Um, so if there aren't any other questions, uh, we'll be in touch via email. Thank you so much for your interest. And we'll hang out for a bit if anybody does have any questions for us. Thank you. <laughs> And...